is called the central leader system. Unlike the open base system, this one is tall and slender, shaped kind of like a, a Christmas tree, a conical shape. Trees pruned this way are the most productive trees. They taste, take up the least space because they're tall and skinny. It's the most productive of the types of pruning systems because it allows for so much airflow and light. But the downside to this central leader system is that they grow so tall that they're not really very practical for the home gardener. You can, however, use this system for dwarf trees. And that's what this is. This is a dwarf apple. Variety is apple crisp. The variety of trees conducive to the central leader systems are apple, dwarf apple, pear, Asian pear, and pecan, to name a few. The end goal of the central leader tree is to have four tiers of four branches. The top scaffolds should be shorter than the bottom and the tree should have a cone or pyramid shape. To start with, I'm going to pick my leader. I'm going to pick the strongest, most upright shoot. As you see this coming up, this branched off this way. That's not very upright, but we do have one coming off of it that is pretty straight. So this is gonna be my leader, and I need to prune out everything that competes with it. So let's do that now. Just like we had previously, we need to pick four scaffolding branches. Ideally, you want your scaffolding branches eight to 10 inches apart. This really doesn't have four. We have three developing, but that's okay. We've got some spurs, little buds down here that may eventually come out and give us some branching. In the central leader tree, the height of the first scaffolding branch should be 18 to 24 inches off the ground. So we're gonna do a thinning cut on that because it's crossing. We're gonna bring this down where we have an outward facing bud going that direction. These are not really good because they're coming back this direction gonna interfere with this one. So we're gonna completely do a thinning cut and remove those. On on this scaffold branch, we have some crossing going on. I'm gonna take this one out. That one's going downward, we'll take that one out. Trim off the tip a little bit on this because it looks a little bit dead, so we're gonna do an outward facing there. And an outward facing there. Thinning cut on that. Thinning cut on this because it's going to interfere with this branch. And again, we're going to pick an outward facing bud on this branch. So in a normal central leader, you would leave this main, main leader going all the way up as tall as you want until you can't harvest from it. It's too tall and then you can trim it back. But with this particular dwarf apple tree, it actually is going to do better with the third system, which is the modified central leader. So I'm gonna continue on this tree to show you what a modified leader system is. The modified central leader system is the compromise between the two systems. And it's usually the default choice. You have both the sturdy trunk and you have the light that's coming in the center. Trees that like this system of pruning are apples, cherries, apricots, and persimmons. Any tree that likes the central leader system is going to like the modified central leader system. In the modified central leader tree, your one leader is terminated 18 to 20 inches above the highest scaffolding branch. You have three to four tiers of scaffolding branches. 
with the height of the first one being 18 to 24 inches off the ground. Off of each scaffolding branch or tier, you want an additional three to four branches. Now, as I said, with the modified central leader system, you prune exactly like you do the central leader system with one difference. That it would be that this main leader, your trunk, so to speak, is terminated 20 inches above the highest scaffolding branch. In a central leader tree, you have one leader that you allow to continue to grow. You have three to four tiers of scaffolding branches, with the height of the first one being 18 to 24 inches off the ground, ideally. Off of each scaffolding branch, you have three to four branches, and the overall shape of the tree is that of a cone. To review, in the modified central leader tree, your one leader is terminated 18 to 20 inches above the highest scaffolding branch. You have three to four tiers of scaffolding branches with the height of the first one being 18 to 24 inches off the ground. Off of each scaffolding branch or tier, you want an additional three to four branches. <coughs> and remember, Bye. Have a good back.